Hey guys, it's Scott. I started making journal covers because I was utilizing fabric and quilting and doing patchwork and piecing. It didn't just start. My mom passed away in April. My mom was an incredible sewer and knitter and I think I was channeling her. Anyway, so I turned around a couple of weeks ago and realized I had 25 journal covers. No insides, just the covers. And so I posted them on Junk Journal Junkies chat room and I called them my book naked journal covers. And so I had posted them and one of the other members of that group saw this book, which was made with some batik quilting cotton or a quilting cotton in a batik print. And she said she had just the papers for it. And so she was kind enough to give me a link to her paper pack, one of which was called Batik. So thank you, Mariah. I will put Mariah's information at the bottom. You know where all that stuff goes. For those of us who know what junk journals is, basically it's just taking anything around to make a journal, a notebook, a book, but make it interesting and make it pretty. It is not junk. So these were the strips. And like I say, they're not straight, they're wonky. And I also did them as raw edge stitching. You know, I love messy stitching when I do my journals anyway, but this is raw edge. And it is a five hole pamphlet stitch. Oh, um, let's see if I can show you this. So the binding is basically, I went around the whole circumference of the book doing a tight zigzag stitch, like the smallest stitch setting. And I just went around and around and around, sometimes backwards, to get it to be that tight. So, the decorations are a grass cloth wallpaper to make the bud or the center of the flower. This is a faux leather piece of fabric, a Tim Holtz metal quote thingy, ubiquitous Tim Holtz hitch fastener for the closure. This is the same material as the mat here that I'm using for the closure. And I made two holes, so this is a chunky little monkey here, but it still has room to grow. And the closure is attached at the back with an eyelet, okay? So that's basically the front. Now, when I first got this fabric, Batik to me means the area of Indonesia, which I'm old. So when I was growing up on my maps, it actually said Java and Sumatra, which, you know, hey. Uh, and that area is known for doing the process of batiking and also known for coffee, because that's where we got the term cup of Java. And okay, so inside, so this is fabric on the outside. On the inside, there's another piece of a faux leather vinyl material that kind of looks like some kind of other skin. Really, I, I like that a lot. But then I started downloading or downloaded Mariah's paper designs. Look at this. Is that gorgeous or what? So I loaded them start loaded. I printed them on a linen-y kind of, actually, it is a linen fiber paper that I used to use for invitations. That's in my stash. This is a piece of fabric. I printed the design on fabric. Okay, I use the procedure using freezer paper to print on this, but there are eight and a half by 11 sheets of printable fabric sold in packets at Joann's and Michael's. Okay, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time because I didn't do a lot of decorating on this. I designed this for somebody who, 
maybe coming to journaling new. This is 2020. And if there ever was a year where people need to be writing down what's happening to them and how they're feeling about it, this is that year. So I left a lot of space for writing. And for those who don't aren't familiar with the term junk journaling or this genre. It's basically making an item that you can write in, art journal in, make lists in, but the pages are not, you're not faced with a blank page the minute you open your book. And for those of us who journal or do art journaling, that can sometimes be a problem. This blank white page, you never put anything down on it. And the other part of um, junk journaling is you don't know, there's gonna be surprises as you turn your pages. So in this case, once again, this area, um, putting in the coffee theme, you know, but first coffee, there's a little coffee paper clip. Uh, that's some coffee washi tape holding it together. This is an embossing folder. So, then we open. So the person who's doing this trip in this particular journal is this guy. Here's his passport. So I'm basing this on my own family history. So this is the passport of Endeavor Wright. It's not his real name, but for our purposes it is. And he's immigrated to America from the country of Barbados, but he immigrated from Panama because he was working on the Panama Canal. And he's doing everything he can to get monies to bring his family to America. So now he's on a ship going to Java. And the goal is to raise money to bring his family to the United States, okay? So that's kind of the theme. Um, I have the pictures in old fashioned photo corners, which I also found like I've had for 50 years. So here's a, this is a pocket. Um, pages out of other journals. <laughs> this is some more of Mariah's designs. Oh, lovely. It's just really, really nice. And I don't know. So I decorated a few pages. This is just washi. I think this was a stamp. I suck at stamping. Oh, awful. I'll show you another page. I just don't do stamping well. Here's a page. And when you're looking at it now, you look. it looks like it's one whole sheet, what's on, yeah. Ugh, not cooperating, anyway. But it's actually two pieces of paper to make it look like it really does when there's one piece of paper. And I like to do that on certain pages in the journal. Because this is like a calendar, uh, you seen that? Anyway, there's found paper, some vintage paper. Vintage meaning it's been in my house in my cabinet full of stationery for as long as, for a long time, most of it. Oh, ledger paper, hello. Now this is one of Mariah's designs in her boutique collection, but I merged a doily on this page, and this doily is one of my mom's doilies that she made me a few years ago, and I found these after I moved, and um, after mom passed, I really uh, thought I wanted to include her doilies in my work in some way. So going forward, there'll be either the actual doily, which I've had a hard time incorporating. I don't seem to be ready to give them up yet, or a digitized version. Isn't that pretty? And just some, you know, simple collaging, um, nothing special. And here's another one of Mariah's pages. And this is a pocket with a different kind of closure. 
So you pull out this little thing here, and this is another place you can write something. And yes, this is a tiger. Can you see that? Is it focusing? Anyway, because they have tigers over there. So that's here. Oh, did they show you the pocket? You know, basically you can do whatever you want, write something. But this is a hidden place for you. Again, look at the paper. Um, from my stash, basically it's faux handmade paper. Again, Mariah's Batik collection. Oh, so pretty. And now the other part, which is coffee. Um, this is a page designed by, it's Marcy on YouTube. She's doing a whole series on drawing and painting with coffee. And she offered this as a free download. I love the splatter. So it went so nicely with the coloring that Mariah has in her papers, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I suck at stamping. <laughs> what can that, you can still read the saying and it's one of my favorites. Not all who wander are lost. Um, here's another paper doily and this doily fabric that Mariah did. Ah, gorgeous. What else? Okay. Um, probably from a Tim Holt sticker sheet. Oh, I love this page. Isn't that pretty? So it's one signature. I think I said it was a five hole pamphlet stitch. There are butterflies over there. Uh, oh, this was a coffee dye. I did have one or two coffee dye pages in here, not a lot. I really envision this going to somebody who's not a big chunk journaler or just wants to write. Ah, these are sideways, you know, it's sideways, folded in sideways, so just notebook paper. I don't usually do that, but 2020 has been a sideways year if ever there was one. I probably should have put more pages in that way. So that's that. Love this. Again, Mariah's paper was really pretty. Um, small cluster. More of that pretty paper. So there's plenty of room to write. This was supposed to be material. I can't remember what happened, but it's just a paper tag from her paper. And it's on, okay. It's on another one of the pages that Marcy has made available. So this is also a pocket and a little button. And I think those are coffee beans, yeah. Uh -huh. um, and inside here, so this is actually the middle of the signature. There's an elephant. There's elephants over there. And then this is a picture of stitches. I didn't actually stitch it. But this could easily be a place to plop down some photos or whatever. Okay, this was a corner pocket, supposedly, but I inadvertently glued the whole thing down. So it's not a corner pocket, it's a corner flip up. And what you see when you flip it up is these historic and vintage Indonesian millstones, you know, for grinding grains. But anyway, this was a little surprise when you turn the corner. Uh, I like this. Like it. Here's a different kind of a belly band. So I just folded a piece of paper in half. So it capped. It's a place to stick something. In this case, it's a map. And I think, I believe this map has actually vintage saying Sumatra or Java. More of that paper batik. Okay, so, but plenty of room to write on. Almost all of my journals will have this. It's a Turkish map fold. So when you open it up, and normally in a travel journal, I would have put a map there. But I didn't because I decided you could put anything you want in this. Because the person who gets this may not be looking at this as the same journey that I'm taking. They might have something else in mind. Okay, oh, 
this is so pretty. Dressed, it's not in my mom's doily. Oh. It's not a naked journal, it's not a book, I'm sorry. It's not a book naked journal cover anymore. Got some clothes on. And this is just a pull out where you know, I can write something. Oh, the tag. Oh, I haven't finished the tag. So this is a tag, again, with the batik and some stitching. And I don't have a ribbon in it. But this is some of the, fab uh, the prints I printed on fabric. These are all fabric and stitched. And there's a like a belly band in here. So I'm going to put a ribbon in here, but this I was thinking more of as a page marker, a book bookmarker. So that's the journey to Java to buy batiks, something like that, or just the brown journal with really pretty fabric and some really gorgeous papers. Again, Mariah, thank you for your generosity. That was so sweet. And they did turn out great. Um, and also, again, I'll put Mariah's information and Marcy's information below. And um, for all of you who have been subscribing to my channel when I haven't posted any videos, thank you very much. I hope to be back doing this. I hope to be dressing all of my book naked journal covers pretty soon. So thanks again. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you like this book. Or no, don't leave me a comment if you don't like it. Okay. Thanks again. Bye.